Hey guys, it's Nicole Soper with Dr. Kumo, and today we have Dr. Chester Tung here with us, who is going to tell us about remote patient monitoring and how it's benefited him and his practice and his patients. So, Dr. Tung, could you just elaborate a little on how, how it's been going with the remote patient monitoring? Remote patient monitoring has been beneficial for my patients. Many times we use a blood pressure cuff. We advise patients to get one of their own. And um, what I recommend them to write down their values on paper. But the benefit from Dr. Kumo is that now we get this easy to use device that we can provide them and they take their blood pressure and these values come directly into the Dr. Kumo uh, platform. It's an online uh, database where I can access and I can see exactly what time, what date that they check their blood pressure. And you can see good trends with that. Uh, you can see that there's graphs that give us a good idea of what range the blood pressure's values fall into. And they also have a average uh, that they give you. So this allows me to better analyze the data. I feel like it's been very helpful in the sense that that's what we do. I mean, in family practice, uh, checking people's blood pressures. We, a lot of times, only get values from maybe one value per month. And this gives us an idea of what their blood pressure is like at home. And so that gives us a more real value. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's a lot better for your patients too, right? Because they're getting that continuous monitoring without having to write it down if they forget it or you know if they lose a piece of paper that they write it on. So Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, I would agree, definitely. Great. Um, so what are some of the reasons that you chose Dr. Kumo? I know there's, it's kind of a new technology, but there are some other remote patient monitoring um, businesses out there. But what made you go with Dr. Kumo? Uh, yes, so I found that the Dr. Kumo blood pressure device very easy to use. Um, you just put around the patient's arm, just press start, it records the value, it sends the data right over, and then the Dr. Kumo platform compiles it all together, and I can check it real time anytime I want just from any computer that's able to access internet. Uh, so that gives the convenience from it. I can check it at home if I feel like to. I can check it in the office. I can check it, uh, you know, if I'm on the tablet, just on the go and just have a thought about a patient's blood pressure. Or if they, you know, if they call me and they're curious how their blood pressure has been tracking. Um, so that's why I like that platform is it, it gives that, gives that confidence that I can see that I know what their blood pressure is, and I can let the patients know exactly how their blood pressures have have been at a moment's notice. That's uh, awesome. Each month. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah. Another thing was, you know, you were saying that it's like easy to use, and I know maybe a lot of your patients who do have chronic illnesses who do need these devices might not be so great with technology. So I feel like that was something really great that you had mentioned with Dr. Kumo about just pushing the button and then it being sent to you. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. wonderful. So let's move on to, I know doctors are obviously very busy with however many patients you have and like the day-to-day. -day. So has adopting remote patient monitoring to your practice really shifted anything? Like how, do you have more work or how has that been for you? Because I know that's kind of a hesitation that a lot of physicians will have. I feel like it's blended very well within the, the normal workflow because we're doing that kind of thing anyways. We have to, you know, when we see the patient, we ask them in office, you know, how's your blood pressure been over the past month, over the past three months? But now we have the data where we can see it and then we can actually show them and then we know that we're seeing their real values and their, uh, not just their estimates from what they remember. So I think it actually blends well within their workflow and. It saves some of that time where, and that doubt that you know we get if we wonder whether the values are true. So I feel like it actually does streamline the workflow a bit, and you know we have to we have to document in the chart anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
you know, we see them in the office, we do this remote monitoring, we have to write a note anyway, so that's just part of the typical workflow. And then as far as the other duties are responsible for this remote patient monitoring, which include the staff calling the patient, you know, maybe a few times a month to check to see how they're doing with the device and, you know, if they're taking their medication and if they're having any symptoms, that is definitely something that the staff can handle and so it doesn't add any more work in terms of uh, to the doctor's workflow. Okay, great. Yeah, because you always want to make sure that your patients are doing well and, you know, checking in on them, right? Correct. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Tung. That's actually all the time we have for today, but be sure to join us, like, and subscribe. My name's Nicole Silver with Dr. Kimmel.